Welcome to another edition of TechPlot Quick Hit Videos. My name is Darrell Rittenberg and today I'm going to show you some of the new improvements we've made with pages and frames in TechPlot 360 EX. So using frames and pages has been available, although not necessarily easily, easily accessed. Basically, we have implemented something we call pages. Now these pages are more like slides in PowerPoint. They can contain one or more data sets, they can contain one or more frames, and when you save your layout, you basically would be saving all those different frames, all those different data sets uh, are all going to be contained, all the pages that you've created. Uh, so in effect, you can kind of build a presentation or a report, and that would allow you to kind of streamline your workflow. Again, you can use macros for a lot of this as well. So we'll talk about that during the demo. Okay, so we actually have a simple UAV case here, and you can see um, we have some slices on the wing, we have some stream traces, we also have some extracts which show the, the pressure contours at those slices on the wing. Now, starting in the new version of TechPlot 360, 360EX, we can actually have pages. So you see here we have the CP plots in one page. The, uh, this is one of the CP plots specifically. This is a 3D image. And we're going to go ahead now and make a new page. And we're going to do that by copying this frame. We'll go and add a frame or a page in this case. We'll go ahead and rename that page. Um, we're interested in ISO surfaces, so this will be an ISO surface page. And uh, we'll go ahead then and paste the frame that we just copied. And that actually gives us a nice start point. We'll go back into the plot. And what we're going to do is we're going to take off the slices and stream traces and we'll generate an ISO surface. Uh, we'll make that at about say 100, a pressure of 100. And we'll go ahead and, and have that update to the plot. So you may have to redraw depending on how quickly you do this. And now we have a new frame with a new view but we can go back uh, to the pages as well. So here's the pressure contours at 100. Let's go back to the pages. Again, we have our multi-page view or multi-frame view. We can look at the 3D image with the stream traces or the ISO surfaces. Thank you again for watching. We're pretty excited about the new frame capability. In addition to some of the usability improvements, we've also improved performance within TechPlot 360EX. We now have the capability of working with very large data sets on your typical engineering workstation. We'll have a video that will talk about that in more detail. Uh, but we've been able to visualize up to 2 billion cell models on a typical engineering laptop. Pretty impressive stuff. We're pretty excited about the performance improvements, and we're looking forward to seeing you at the next video. Questions or comments, feel free to email me at the email address below. See you in the next video.